Welcome to T3G Vlogs. This is the 100 days of making comics. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Day 100. We're here. We've done it. It's been mostly successful. Kicking the day off very productively already. Raining outside. Bummer. I've already started a load of dishes. I still have a half an hour before work, which means I get to actually make breakfast for myself, and hopefully it'll be healthy. All right, so kicking it off okay. I'm not gonna get too close, I'll zoom in here. Getting uh, a few pieces of kielbasa sliced up. I sliced it up so that I wouldn't use as much, make myself kind of accountable. Did a lot of prep work ahead of time for this stuff. So then this is my, my omelet prep work. Got some peppers, some onions, and some spinach. I really hate the idea of prep work, but when you do it, and it's just like, you know, I grab a couple handfuls, boom, boom. Once that's done, I can just toss it all in, throw the eggs in, and we move on with our lives. You know what I'm saying? It's annoying to have to do it, to have to dedicate, you know, an hour or two to Dicing up stuff, slicing up stuff, but it's worth it in the long run. And it is the evening, as you can see, it's dark because it's super rainy and stormy outside. I mean, I don't wanna say like super rainy, so we're gonna have lots of lights on. We've got two major things that we gotta do today. We have to, we have to edit the vlog that's gonna go up today, and we also have to film and edit the tech video for Monday, which I have not filmed at all yet. But I did come up with something cool for that, so we'll see how that goes. First, however, I do have to make a run to get a time lapse. That was kind of one of the big things. As you'll remember, for the 100 Days of Comics, I wanted to do something special, and as of February, I started doing time lapses at the beginning of each vlog. So to that end, I turn these lights off and head out. Well, the, uh, the rain has stopped going as hard. It, it, I was hoping to get a nice time lapse of the, the storm clouds but they kind of seem to have come and come and gone. Um, we'll see. See if we'll be out here for a few more minutes. See. See if we can get something interesting. But I wanted to do a quick reflection on on the 100 days round to the anthology. If you guys don't know what this whole thing has been about, I'm sure you do. Most of the people that watch this are part of the the, the 100. The anthology came about from a bunch of people kind of agreeing that hey, we did this really cool, crazy t challenge thing. And uh, we kind of want to do something else with that. And we want to kind of put together our own project. And an anthology came together. Uh, we, we voted on a theme, which I am proud to say. I, I put my, my two cents in, and that was the theme that was chosen. And uh, everybody, I think, so far, I don't think we lost anyone. So I'm going to say 17 people are doing stories or some combination of stories and, and pinups. I did a story and a pinup. Uh, I have not shared the pinup with this uh, this viewing audience, uh, if you were lucky enough to be in one of, it was one time in a hangout that I did share it with uh, with other people who were part of the group, part of the 100 days, part of one of the art groups as well. Uh, there's a, there's about there's about three or four people that were around when that happened. So if you were lucky enough to have seen it before print time, you were lucky. Oh, it returns. All right, got myself a time lapse. Even took a nap while I was taking the time lapse. Benefits and wins all over the place. Speaking of wins, let's talk about what we originally set out to do with this 100 days round. So when I first set out to do this project, to do this 100 days round two for the anthology, I had three goals in mind. Last time around, they were non-specific goals. I found an issue with that because I didn't get a lot done. So this time I said I want three specific goals. 30 minutes a day, of course, on the comic itself. 30 minutes a day of working out, exercising, walking, gym, whatever it may be. And 30 minutes a day working on my game development class that I'm taking online. Let's break down how each of those things went. The comic, definitely done. This is six pages and my pinup is in a different folder, but this is a quick preview. This is page one. This is actually in color. I exported it in color before I made it black and white. It's actually page one without dialogue. So the comic work was definitely done. The comic work was done about day 80. So I converted that into working on the, to working on a convention, which I have purchased a booth at for this October. So I have, it is now 
April. So I have about six months to get a show together. Started working on things like materials, things like finding artists, things like finding people to go to the con. That's been going pretty well. I've gotten some work in on the on one of the pro stories that's gonna be in there. I've spoken to a couple people regarding commissions that will be turning into prints to sell there. And then we'll, we've also talked to an artist, Jason, who will be joining us at the con and he'll be selling his stuff and he'll be doing some work for us as well. So all sorts of stuff and all, all sorts of things are in motion for that. Today, in fact, I worked on the actual booth itself. I was trying to figure out what all we were gonna need. I was working on the banners yesterday, but then today I realized, all right, well, let me like try to figure out the space. So I put together an idea of what this might look like and I realized we only have one table. So at minimum, we're gonna need three more tables maybe two, we might be able to get away with two, depending on how we're set up. And that's something I'm gonna to need to contact County Con to see how they're gonna do it. I don't know if they're gonna give us a freestanding 10 by 10 or if they're gonna give us a corner. You know, I need to know what I'm working with so I know how to approach the booth. So that's what I did today, so that's a check mark on that. Health-wise, um, that kind of fell off. Initially, at the beginning of the year, we, my wife and I started a project where we would do five days on, so five days strictly on our diet, very strict, six days, at, six days, six uh, times, six meals per day, and then two days we could do whatever, you know, nothing ridiculous, but still kind of, you could indulge and not worry about it. Of course, this was to go hand in hand with working out and all that stuff. I'll be honest with you, I work from home. I'm very stagnant, and it's very difficult for me to get out to the gym, uh, to get out. It, you know, I work, this was during the winter, so I've been working till 5.30. It, by the time it's 5.30, the sun has come down. Um, this has now just changed in the last month or so, but it, it's it's been a challenge. It's definitely been a challenge, and I'll be, I'll be very honest, it did not succeed. Um, that portion of my 100 days challenge, my Nexus 100, as I like to call it, that has failed this time around. It, uh... It, it isn't a good, good time. But I'll be honest, listen, I, I lost, uh, I lost about, I wanna say, did I say 10, I think it was 10 pounds in January. Uh, I did gain back most of it, but you know, I'm trying to get back on the road to getting that down. Uh, I'm trying to get back to my six meals a day, you know, small, concise meals. I made myself some chicken soup, um, a, a liquid diet kind of thing. It's, it's supposed to help with losing weight, but also I also have a prepared meal. I toss it in the microwave. I'm done. I don't have to worry about going out to eat. I don't have to worry about trying to make something huge. I've also spent some time dicing up onions, dicing up peppers, cucumbers, all that stuff that I can toss in an omelet real quick with some spinach. So then I don't have to worry about like, all right, now I have to like get the onions out and all this other stuff. So it's kind of to reduce the amount of work you have to do for each meal by doing some extra work in addition ahead of time. Hopefully that'll help me out and get me on the right path of that again. Now, as far as the game, that has been one of the biggest hurdles. Uh, I've actually been doing a lot of work with the game class, whereas before I did almost, I don't wanna say almost none, I did do the first, the first uh, assignment, I guess, the first chapter where we did a text-based game. So I did that beforehand. But then in this, during this 100 days, I've done three additional games, which has been super cool. The first game was a block breaker style game, which was super fun to make. I've got some plans to kind of expand it to make it bigger, so that's cool. Uh, the second game was a top-down shooter, so kind of along the lines of Galaga. It was cool to kind of get some collision effects going on, so a lot more interaction between different objects. And the third game, with the current game, has been the most challenging, but it's still in progress. I'm still working on it slowly, uh, and that is the tower defense game. I think they're, we're calling it Glitch Garden. Uh, it's basically Plants vs. Zombies kind of-ish setup. You know, you got the little, little lines across the screen, the bad guys are going to come in, you got your towers defending, etc., etc. Pretty straightforward. Sure but uh, the biggest hurdle for me there has been animation to try to get everything animated properly. I got a little, I'm gonna be honest, I got quite a bit discouraged a few days ago when I thought I was following all the instructions, but whatever I did screwed up the alignment of everything so then I couldn't actually get anything to go where I wanted to go. I couldn't get anything aligned where I wanted it to be aligned. So I kind of stepped back from that and I will get back to that on my next day off. I'm gonna dedicate a few hours to it and get it cranking that way. Overall, I think the 100 days has been 
super successful. I mean, even look at today, I think I've managed my time really well. I came off work and then I was able to get the, the vlog edited, up, uploaded. I just finished editing and I'm about to upload the tech video for today, which will then be up before midnight. Now, I do wanna get into a habit of putting that up earlier in the day, but you know what, it's up on Monday, so it counts for me for now until I get a little bit better ahead at batch recording and recording things ahead of time, editing things ahead of time, so that I can say, hey, every every Monday for the next four Mondays is gonna be at 12 o'clock noon central time, etc., etc. You know, until I can get that down, this is how it's gonna be. So even today was real successful. I was able to record some decent stuff for, for the vlog today, for this final 100 days vlog, and also day 11 of VEDA. Is it day 11 or day 10? It's day 10, what am I, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. No, it's definitely day 10 of VEDA. Uh, so day 11 will be tomorrow. I've still got 20 more days of VEDA to go, so that's gonna keep me going. VEDA for me is gonna shift towards me doing some more kind of uh, health stuff. Uh, so that's kind of going to be the focus of that since I'm just going to, I'm not going to have the 100 days anymore. So I'm going to focus on doing the health stuff and I'm going to focus on getting the game stuff done. So I'm still going to try to do 30 minutes on game work, 30 minutes on health stuff. Um, whether that be taking a walk, whether that be going to the gym, whatever. So that's the, so that's the plan for the next 20 days. And then hopefully beyond that, we'll see as to where the vlogs go. But I'm going to call it there. It's just... It's, it's about 20 minutes to midnight and I want to make sure I get this video uploaded and go to bed as early as possible because I want to make sure I'm trying to get up earlier, get more things done before work so that I'm not trying to scramble everything, you know, during lunches and after work. Appreciate you guys for watching these 100 days of making comics, round two, the anthology and subsequent work. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.